Right, so here we have the ex expansion bus, extension bus, whatever you want to call it, of the peripheral. So this part here will plug into your PC engine, it will plug into your core graphics, your LT, whatever, but it's the standard uh, PC engine expansion port. Off the actual expansion port itself is uh, basically the header for that port and as I've said previously this uh, expansion port actually outputs uh, RGB, sync, ground, uh, voltage, audio, all the um, all the appropriate uh, pinouts that you need to do your RGB mod. Now just before I'll quickly just go through what these pins are and the ones you need to be interested in. Um, this circuit board here, that's the RGB amp that I've built, but we'll ignore that for the moment, we'll come back to that in a, in a, in a few moments. <clears throat> So going through the uh, relevant uh, connections that you need to be interested in for an RGB out, an audio out, sync etc. is that if we start from the top, uh, this one here is red, we've got green and we've got blue. So all the way down that one side is, is, is basically R, G and B. Uh, this one here, uh, which is the next row in from the end, that is a uh, composite video and for the purpose of this particular mod I'm using composite video for my sync I'm not using composite sync composite sync is the bottom pin that you can't really see under there but you've got a uh, composite video there uh, which is what I'm going to be using and composite sync is the one at the bottom uh, which is just under the grey wire uh, moving across we have uh, plus 5 volts which we need to power the, the uh, RGB amp and we also need plus 5 volts that needs to go through to the SCART. And then right next to that we've got ground again, and we need ground for the RGB amp, and we need ground to actually go to the SCART plug. So we've got a couple of wires on each of those. Um, uh, one wire is going to the SCART, and the other wire is going to the RGB amp uh, here. So basically what I've done is I've took, um, I've took R, G and B uh, on these wires here, and they come through into my RGB amp. And now what you can do, again, as I explained before, is you could uh, just take RGB uh, off there, and you could take that straight to your uh, SCART socket. And it will work, it will work, but you will find it on some TVs, certainly the newer ones, and even on CRTs, I've tested it on my CRT that I've got here, you get a dual picture um, in the way that some of the colors aren't aren't uh, very uh, bright and if you play a game like R-Type for instance that's pretty easy to actually notice it on is that some of the levels on R-Type, the initial levels on R-Type 1 is the background is you don't see the blue colour from the background so you need an RGB amp hence why sorry hence why I've built this RGB amp here now ignore the quality of the soldering slightly on there this has been a bit of a test uh, PCB um, I've had to pull uh, components off a couple of times because I wired it up uh, incorrectly and I've got holes or breaks on the board that I don't need so so sort of ignore that but if we turn it over very very gently we can see the RGB amp there and it's basically made up of each, each um, each colour goes through a transistor, then through a resistor, and then uh, through a capacitor. It is a very, well, it is a pretty straightforward circuit to be honest, it is. As long as you get the uh, the transistor uh, wired up correctly that is, you should be able to do it first time, but it's, it is a fairly, fairly easy, basic um, uh, circuit. You basically have to feed it power, uh, plus 5, which you take off your header and you feed it a ground as well. Uh, you've got to ground out the uh, the transistor which is uh, very easy again. So so that's the uh, that's the RGB amp and the actual picture from this is absolutely stunning. It's a real nice RGB picture. Um, it's the same RGB amp that I had originally in my Turbo Graphics 16. I basically copied it from there and it it doesn't seem to give me any sync dropouts which uh, depending, I mean this is especially useful for people with scalers, it doesn't really cause problems with CRT, but if you're using a scalar, CGA to VGA scalar, any of the XRGBs, those types of things, um, and you can get problems with the PC engine specifically, it is renowned for being dodgy with scalars and sinks, um, uh, losing sync signals basically. 
I've never had a problem with this particular circuit on the Turbo Graphics 16. I've never had any losses of sync. It's been really, really good. So, um, so again, you can use this as a as a um, as an amp that should work really well with scalers. Uh, what I've decided to do instead of um, <coughs> showing you some sort of detail on the on the PCB that I've created for this RGB amp, I thought I would do a sort of layman's pictorial uh, wiring diagram. So down the uh, down the left hand side of the diagram is basically all the inputs. So this is the um, uh, the red, green, and blue lines coming from the from the console, <coughs> and in the case of the PC engine, that's come off the off the header which I've previously described, where the RGB uh, feeds are from that. So they so each line, uh, each RGB line, comes into uh, the centre uh, input on on each of the transistors and the transistors are BC548 so they're coming into the into the collector part of the transistor which is the input effectively so on each transistor you've got a red, green or blue feed coming in now the emitter part of the transistor which is basically the output is coming uh, on this leg here so as you look at the as you look at the front of the transistor the middle leg is the input the left leg is effectively the uh, the plus 5 volt feed and that's your power and the right leg is your output so as your outputs coming across into a capacitor a 47 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor onto the plus side of the capacitor, hence why I've put a plus there and then the output of the capacitor is going to pin 15 on your SCAR, so that's the that's the complete journey really of the red, so the red comes in into the centre uh, the collector it goes uh, out of the emitter into the capacitor and then out to pin 15. Now to make that circuit work completely you've got to ground uh, the circuit out on each line you've got to ground. We've got to ground out through a 150 ohm uh, resistor and basically that come, just comes down to a ground and that ground again I explained where the ground was you can use the ground that's on the on the um, external bus connector on the PC engine. So you basically uh, take each line and you replicate that circuit out effectively so you've got three transistors uh, you've got three uh, resistors and you've got three capacitors and it is that straightforward um, I've done it in the way that I've done it here not as a pure uh, a wiring schematic but it's a bit of a layman's uh, diagram really to show you guys how to do it what we've got here down this side is actually shown which of the SCAR pins uh, that you want to output. So red is at the top, that goes to pin 15, green goes to pin 11 and blue goes to pin 7. Now you've obviously taken, uh, you obviously take a plus 5 feed out of the PC engine so that needs to go to, to the top of me and I think it's pin, pin 16 on SCART. You need to connect uh, various grounds to the SCART plug but you take that from the ground that you have from your uh, PC engine. That's fine, straightforward. Audio goes on, again off the top of my head, is two and six for left and right, or right and left, and then pin four for ground. Um, again, you can use your normal ground, your common ground that you've got. Um, and your sink, uh, sink's only one left, which is SCART pin 17, uh, sorry, SCART pin 20. So SCART pin 20 is your sync, but for the purpose of of what I showed you previously on, on my RGB amp and the way that I've wired everything from the PC engine, I'm using composite video for sync. I'm not using composite sync, but you can use either. But composite video for sync will give you better compatibility with 
your screens basically but it may not give you better compatibility for your scalers but you can use another device like a sync stripe to sort that out but I'm, I'm not going to go into that because it will get all confusing so hopefully that will give you enough information guys if anybody wants to uh, give it a bash really like I said it is a pretty simple uh, circuit if you want to ask any questions please fire away so this is the final finished uh, conversion mod that I've done so again using uh, the Tonoco 2 um, it's not a particular pretty sorry it's not a particularly pretty unit and and the actual look of the modification isn't particularly pretty either I could have spent a lot more time making it a lot tidier as regards to uh, basically the way the cable is on the um, on the device itself you see there I've actually made a hole on the side I mean that could be made to look a lot better with a grommet uh, for instance or it could have been made a lot smaller as regards to the hole but I basically just uh, got an old uh, soldier nine tip there and just melted it away and then broke it off but uh, it's purely because uh, for what I need it for it's absolutely fine I'm not, I'm not here to make it look really minty mint as regards to uh, the way that I've done it but uh, that's down to you guys how much ever time you want to spend I mean what you could do if you had the inclination is you could actually fit a mini DIN socket on the side of the unit there and actually get this cable to plug into this but again it takes time and effort and I just haven't got the time or the effort to do it for myself so it's not really relevant for what I need it for I just wanted to test it but basically obviously this unit here will just plug into anything that's uh, that uses the extension uh, bus so what I'm going to do I'm going to plug this into my PC Engine LT I thought I'd find a use for it sooner rather than later um, and I'm going to show you the RGB picture on my CRT and that's the LT plugged into uh, the Tonoco And actually on this stage here, without the RGB amp, you can't see the background at all. It's too light, but with the RGB amp in place, it looks exactly as it should do. You've got the nice blue or greenish sort of background there. Right, so that's the RGB picture on the uh, PC Engine with the RGB mod I've just done. Absolutely mint, lovely rich picture. Fortunately, you can only see my my reflection there. The screen, so just ignore that. And that is PC Engine LT with the same picture on. Well, yeah, yeah, you can see that more well. But it's a lovely, lovely rich picture.